Hello guys and welcome to Light Fellowship of Luke's. So this is a game I am planning to do videos on. It's a bit less popular game than Summoner's War but I find it interesting because it has some features that well players of Summoner's War were asking for but still don't have them but yeah. Also I'm testing the new microphone sensitivity so maybe it's a bit louder maybe it's a little quieter I don't know. I would need that input from you, but anyways, let's go. So, as you can see, we have heroes here, of course, then we have shop. Let's see, so I prepared something for, oops, not that, runecrafting is off the limits for now. So I prepared something when we, let's say, start the game. So, you know, let's summon some scrolls, like on some, oh, what is that number? Hello? Okay, I guess that is what... 12 looks like, let me just fix that. So we are back and as you can see it's good right now, I don't know what that happened, but let's go. So we can just let scrolls summon automatically for us, so yeah, let's see what we get. I heard that chance for net 5 is a bit higher here than on Summoner's War, but I don't know. You never know. So we are getting 3 stars for now, but maybe 1 star, maybe 2 star, maybe 1 4 star or 5 star would be nice. I mean, I there's nowhere I could find all the heroes in the game, so I'm not sure how many of the, well, heroes, monsters, whatever you call them are in the game, but yeah. So let's see, what we can summon? Earth Elemental. Alright, come on. Oh, this is something good, when this happens, it's something usually... Oh, four star, Gaia. I guess, I hope I pronounced it right. Okay, more shite. I mean, I don't know if they are shite. So, yeah. Uh, Reina. Okay, come on, faster. Let's go faster. We don't have all day. Oh, it's something. Please, Ardo. What is that for your head? Do you have? What the hell was that? Did he have an energy rune from Summoner's War? Blackie? Well, you're one ugly thing. And last scroll. Oh! Please be net 5, please be net 5, please. Melanie! Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Let's check them out. So, the hero inventory works a bit different than on Summoner's War, as you can see, because it is a total mess. I mean, it shows the ones I summoned. But I want to show them by, let's say, grade, but I don't want to see the rainbow moons, well, equal to rainbow moons in this game, so, yeah. But as we can see, we have two net fives, this is what you get, like, start net five, and then when I joined, I get a season scroll for, I guess, arena, and I pick myself this net five. And she, boy, she is OP. Like, look at her skills. So... Recurs the HP by 10% of we fling the damage, okay. Then, uh, target physical defense will be decreased by 100% for 5 seconds. And in this game, it's like win or lose situation. And entice to make the target attack the enemy for 4 seconds. That is actually nice. I would like to see that in Summoner's War, but we are playing Light Fellowship of Luke's. I guess I'm pronouncing it right. And Time Bomb. We have bomb! I got like something like Lucian slash Ciara slash whatever you want. <laughs> and it is pretty awesome. And as you can see, the target will recover HP by 30% of the inflicted damage whenever the damage is inflicted for 10 seconds. And increases link critical damage by 40, so she hits pretty hard. And there we have those awakened skills. And how do you awaken, let's say, monster, hero, whatever in this game. Well, you just feed simple, uh, similar heroes to what you want to awaken. And as you can see, I got two bears, and if you go to upgrade levels, and uh, you can see awakened level is 25%, so three more bears, and we can unlock first skill for him. And also, runes work a bit different. As you can see, there are only four rune sets, but instead of like working on Summoner's War, so you can have three rune sets, or let's say, well, two rune sets. Uh, here, two similar rune sets, like let's say, attack and attack rune set give you bonus effects. So, like, one life rune gives you HP by 20% more. 
but 2 creates shield with a fixed chance when you're attacked. Which is amazing, like attack rune, let's see. So, it, okay, attack 20% and increase the attack value for 10 seconds with fixed chance when you attack with basic attack. That's just amazing, or let's say defense, like physical defense 40% and yeah, increase the physical defense with a fixed chance when you attack. That's just amazing. Let's see, what else is there in the show? Ah, right, in this game, if you are looking to play a lot, they are really generous on crystals and the keys, which are equivalent to the, 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 the um, energy in Summoner's War. Like, I, I got so many, and you use like three keys per stage. If I would have so much energy in Summoner's War, I could buy myself a wife, a house, a car, a net five maybe. Like, look how many it is. And when you refill, you get 120, which is amazing. So, we have your classic scenario in every other game there is on Google Play or iOS Store. But as you can see, it's pretty similar to Summoner's War. You have stages, and for each stage, you get wards, and yada yada yada. And yeah, you have normal, hard, and hell. And let's see, so let's see how combat looks like. Let's see, Room of Oblation, Battle Preparation, oh, that rhymed. So we have our team, as you can see here, and enemy team is this, 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 and that. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but whatever. And my battle power, so we are winning this, because just my battle power is higher than theirs battle power, so let's go. Come on. Evolve your heroes to increase star grade up to 6 star. You don't say. And the fight is pretty chaotic if you are trying to, well, see what is happening on the screen. Because I honestly don't know what's happening, I just, well, that's the only option, I don't know how you would else play this on manual, because it's a fast-paced game, so best option is to play it on auto, like every other fucking farming game out there. But you know, I like this farming game, because I can do whatever I want, and guess what? There is auto farm. Yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> you heard me right. We can do this stage 20 times, without clicking collect, select the team and repeat. It's just farms for you, which is quite amazing. So let's see, what else? Ah, right, we have this little cute motherfucker, this cat, and of course it refreshes uh, every one hour, as you can see, and I really didn't see any good items, I guess, because I'm low level, but yeah. Then we have Sanctum of Energy, which is equivalent to uh, uh, awakening essences in Summoner's Wars, so we have... Well, they were kind of different because there are no light and dark monsters, so... As you can see, you have two times a week the elemental... Uh, Aggies, so yeah. And this is, I guess... Oh, that's nice! So you get whatever from there, and you get like this from here. And those king, those eggies are like angelmos, so yeah, they provide little more XP to the monsters than just your food monsters. This thing, investigate or investigation, is also one thing I like about this game, and that is you don't have to be on a game all the time. You can send your monsters out to investigate, and let's say one hour later, come back, collect loot, and repeat the process. Why is this better? Because you are, let's say, farming, grinding, even when you are not in the game. I know it's not that much because look, what is the war? It's a bit of XP, bit of gold and two star monster, but still, you are grinding of the game. And as you can see, there are the, let's say, call them rainbow moons or uh, how are they called? Evolution incarnations in there, which are rainbow ones, and they're pretty bad for now, but I guess that's kind of with level. But yeah, that's amazing, and Arena is kind of messed too, like on Summoner's War, it's... Yeah, let's try and... Nope. Let's not go to the defense, but let's try to show you how Arena looks. 
I don't care about my one buff. Let's try and be this level 6. Okay, let's go. I trust in my team that we can do it. Why? Like, why the hell not? Come on. Alright, so Chronos... Chronos... Without R because... Hey, fuck you, you can't have your name longer than 8 characters. And looks like we are actually winning this, but... This is normal. Let me try a find shitfest for you to see how Arena also looks like. So I think I found a battle that I will of course lose because I'm still a noob in this game and look at him. He has way better monsters than I am, but let's just do this. Let me show you how shitfest of trying to catch what is happening in here it actually is. Like, it is impossible to follow up. Look at this. Everything normal? Ready? Fight. From now on, try... Okay, it's pretty slow. But try to... What is happening right now? Like, look. One, two, three skills. That guy is casting skills. Then my team is, of course, dead. As I predicted. But look at that. She is shooting something, but sh something is happening. And this is happening, and that is happening, and... <laughs> I mean, somehow this is pretty slow, but we of course lost. Anyways, let me show you the shop and cash shop and everything. So the cash shop compared to Summoner's War is kind of similar but different. I mean, you can buy those daily packs, I mean, you know what daily pack does. Earn more gold, yada yada yada, earn more XP, okay, starter pack. I won't buy that because that's a 4 star and I don't know if 4 stars are like valued here but I would rather take an at 5. The summoning packs are a bit, uh, well, more expensive but at the same time you get so many crystals that this is like 70, what, 750 crystals in Summoner's War. Anyways, one thing I like is you can buy those elemental packs which you can't in Summoners for unless they magically pop out on your screen. Which I really hate because I like so many times wanted to buy them but I'm sorry Contas, I, I won't run to bank right now just to buy that packs. And as you can see, special heroes. I'm still not sure what this scroll does. A special chance to summon a hero of your choice. Oh, summon a random hero. But is it the 4 star hero? Is it the 5 star hero? Is it like summoning stones on Summoner's War or what? I'm, I have no clue honestly. But as you can see you have monthly special pack, legendary hero scroll times 2. Okay, so... Oh, I bet this must be net 5 because... Wait, what? 25? What? I didn't notice there says 24... I, what? Oh my god, guess who is buying shit in this game? And monthly special pack. Oh god. Oh god, which is better? This? A guaranteed 4 star? Or this? Oh god, the choice is hard. And then the cash drop, usual crystals, more crystals and more crystals. Nothing you really need that you can't get from game. Packages, well they are kind of interesting, as you can see, key pack, uh, a chance, okay, like that's so many keys for $8, but look at my keys, oh you can't see them right now. Look how many keys I have, I am level 14 playing for like what, 2 days, 3 days, and still can't waste them all. So yeah, this key pack is really, I don't know, I don't see a way to run out of the keys right now at this stage of the game. I'm just too newbie to, well, waste them. Gold pack, oh god, that's a lot of gold. And upgrading rune is pretty cheap in this game. So I went from plus, na uh, plus 1 to, well, from 0 to plus 9, plus 10, with maybe one fail, so... Yeah, XP pack, oh my god, that's a lot of King Eggies. Okay, 
You know what I noticed? Which with each one of those you get premium hero scrolls which are mystical scrolls in Summoner's War, which is actually really nice. I don't know why they don't look like on their less successful games and focus on their most successful game. I mean, I guess, whoops, accidentally paused it, but I guess that is what makes their game popular because people want those features and they will try and play and wait those features out rather than going on other games. I'm telling stupid shit so don't listen to me. Anyways, Awakening Pack, okay, we know what this does. Mythical Hero Scroll Pack. Limited to one spear month, the perfect opportunity to get Mythical Hero Scroll to Okay, Fire, Fire, Water, Earth, Transcendence Pack. Philosopher's Stone, fuck philosophy. And we have Arena, which is quite nice. And as you can see, there are many things you can buy, and as you can see, this is, I guess, for 15 times 15 arena. And you can buy actually monsters from here, which is amazing. 4 star and 4 star. And you can also, well, get the right points, and, well, get more monsters, which I do really like. And oh boy, it's 16 minutes already, and of course, guilt. What is this? Union... <laughs> you can summon 5 star Cory Emily Soli. Okay. And this is the guild shop. Classic. You know this video is already longer than I want it to be, but I forgot this thing. The raids, which are equivalent to dungeons in Summoner's War. And they are kind of different how they work. Each one of those have... Well, it's not like you have crystal, you have giant or the boss, and you have crystal and crystal like on Summoner's War. But each boss has its own like different things. Like I've been farming this guy like hell, but I can't really do more than level three. But there was the Kraken uh, raid before, and it was actually awesome. As far as I got it, you have two tentacles, and unless, well, until you beat those two tentacles, you can attack Kraken, but after you beat those two tentacles, Kraken is free to attack. So, yeah, each boss has different mechanics, but those mechanics kind of affect how it works rather than just, oh, here's dots, here's immunity. No, it affects. Anyways, Infinite Tower. No can do, it's from level 17, exploration, it's from level 15, and guild? I mean, you know what guild does, but one thing, one cool thing I found out is that guild actually gives you bonus XP when you are in guild, so hey, that's amazing. And of course, like on any summer, oh, whoops, like on any Comptos game, there are events, so yay. <laughs> Let's see, new server, no thanks. Anyways, if you want... I would recommend this game. It's less popular than Summoner's War, so it is, well, more space for you to get better. It is, it, like, they opened the new server right now, so there are new server rewards and everything is amazing. I found no problems so far in this game, and looks like I can clear everything with what I have here. And it's pretty simple game, but... It's pretty actually complex. Let's say it's in the middle of simple and complex. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the game I will be playing on my channel a bit more. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, share, subscribe, do whatever. I don't know. It's up to you. See you guys next time. Bye!